Hi, and welcome to Paper Roots Scrapbooking. I'm Nadine, and today we're going to be talking about Allison Davis's sketch support series, and I will be working with sketch number eight. Okay, so I am going to work with sketch number eight today. I'm not working through these in any particular order. I'm just, um, I just want to give them all a try. I feel like they are a fabulous resource and they're a great place to start when you're not feeling particularly creative and so I this time around really did just read the measurements and get started because I wasn't feeling super creative the only difference I think that you're gonna see that's gonna be a glaring difference is that I took my large circle photo from this side over to this side just because it fits into the space better um, and I wanted it to come down this way across, like for your eye to be drawn this way across the page. And also if I were to put the large circle cluster up here, I'd be covering even more of my daughter-in-law's face. And it already cut off because this was a Snapchat photo, so they're not quite four by six. Um, okay, so let's get started. I, to, before I turned on the camera, I laid down my two by 12 inch piece of paper. Um, I will link this uh, the sketch support series below so that you guys can download the sketches for yourself if you'd like. Um, I started with a two by 12 inch strip of paper and I put my photos, uh, just four by six photos across in a strip uh, above it. I punched out a three and a half inch circle I did a little doodling on it to add some faux stitching and I put a three inch photo of my grandbaby in the center of the circle. And so from there, I think I am going to just start tucking some circles that I punched uh, into, oops, this stuff is stuck together over here. Let me just pull out what I have for circles. So I just, when I, Get ready to do a layout. I just toss the things I'm going to use into this little bucket, and I think it's just from the dollar store. And here's my journaling. Okay, so that will go up there. I'm gonna just start um, tucking and sticking down the circles uh, into little clusters just like it has on the sketch. So I have been listening to the news a little bit and I'm getting excited for summer. It looks like I'm gonna be able to travel out to see my little ones this summer. It's been too long. I'm missing them a great deal. I can't wait to get my hands on that little baby again she's growing so fast and um, my big boy is turning three this month it's all happening so quickly I can't believe it so I looking forward to having some ability to go out and about and do our thing out in the world Hope that stays the way it's going to be. So I guess it's all about who's getting vaccinated and how many and I don't know. So we'll see. We'll see how that all plays out. But I am hopeful for uh, the ability to travel at least within our own country this summer. And looking forward to June coming up means the last month of school, usually the funnest month of school because it usually involves field trips and other fun things. I don't think we're gonna get field trips, <laughs> but that's okay. If we don't, we'll, we'll figure it out. We'll do some fun stuff. We have, last I checked, there was quite a few exciting events planned at the school so I think that we'll have a good time with the kiddos and my oldest is coming up on graduation here pretty soon so um, they just sent out a uh, 
parent questionnaire asking if we would prefer to hold grad off until late the as late as possible in June so that the kids can actually like cross the stage um, so of course I said yes to that that sounds like fun um, yeah we weren't feeling very hopeful that they would get much of a ceremony per se they had talked about you know kids only and parents watch virtually they had talked about um, just uh, being able to like park in the parking lot and watch your child cross the stage in the parking lot. Anyways, none of the scenarios were I was a super big fan of, but I mean, it's better than what the kids got last year, right? They basically just had a teacher, maybe not their own teacher, show up at the door and pass them their certificate, which was a bit heartbreaking. Um, so yeah, I guess we are kind of looking forward to like, um, seeing if we can have some success in bringing those numbers down so that we can have our kids have an actual grad ceremony. I like that one there. And we can, uh, actually be there in person to watch them. So <clears throat> that's my hope that we get a grad, that I get to travel, that I get to see the babes. What is everybody else hoping for this summer? I'm curious. Sometimes I wish that you were live here with me, chit-chatting, telling me things. But we don't get much of that these days either, do we? Hopefully soon, hopefully by summer we'll be back going to retreats and scrapbooking together in person here's my little journaling it just says Quentin is teething but he had a great time in the pool and enjoyed a long nap in mummy's arms so he could have more fun at Great Wolf Lodge and there we go some circles up top too And, oh, you know what? I was going to put washi tape, I think. Let's see if these will come back up for me without wrecking my photo, preferably. Oh, yeah. We're good. I was thinking, at first I thought this one, this is a Simple Stories washi tape. Um, but I thought it was kind of too thick. So I think I'm just going to go with this Doodlebug one. It's just a little black polka dot very basic not too distracting pretty much can go with everything oh this isn't doodlebug this is bella boulevard sorry shows what i know there we go just push that down there Okay, let's try that again. Okay, let's get that journaling up there. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> now it doesn't want to let me tuck things behind my photos. What? Give me grief. Okay, there we go. Finally. Okay, I think we're getting somewhere. Oh, I have a circle stuck to the back of my arm. Let's uh, get it on the page. <laughs> Don't you hate that? Sometimes I find things on my bedroom floor from my craft room and think, how did this get here? Clearly it was stuck to my clothing at some point. <clears throat> and here we go. This was not punched from a paper. This was from the die cut pack. This little star. Where do we want to put this one? Maybe this way. Yeah. 
something up here. Sure. And then one more. I think that should be okay. That looks pretty good, hey? Okay, so then I have also some uh, wood veneer, circle shapes-ish stuff. This is my title, part of my title. And this is, I was gonna put this up here somewhere too, but I wasn't thinking ahead. I was gonna incorporate it somehow with my with my circle cluster. Because I thought it was cute for, it was also from the embellishment pack, and it I thought it went well because he's sleeping in some of these pictures. This is just the hotel room pics that I got from their trip. There we go. Let's see what else I can get in there. Do I even like that? Hmm. I don't. I liked it better without the embellishment. So I'm going to take that off. Let's see if I can find a spot for it later. But for now, we're going to go back to what we had, which was just a little cluster over here. And I think I'm going to put one of these into that cluster. And maybe one of these down here, and maybe one over here, and then maybe one up here. There. Okay, I'll just get some scotch tacky glue on here and get them glued down underneath. Um, so I also did a thing, <laughs> I bought some thickers, and to be honest, I kind of forgot about it. It was like a pre-order I did with this local scrapbook store, and she, um, they're not actually local to like my city, but they're in a nearby town, and so sometimes she'll like say, hey, your order's here, um, do you want me to drop it off while I'm in the city shopping and so that's what happened she texted me and she's like hey I got your thickers on your paper that you ordered so I ordered a graduation pack because it had the 2021 grad stuff and like it had like a smiley face with the mask on it and I'm not super into buying paper right now but I think for things like that where we're having a pretty unique scenario um, that's a good thing to bring into my craft room. Um, and then the uh, thickers that I bought were navy, and I'm like, oh, yes, please. <laughs> it's so hard to find navy anything, and I just, I use it a lot. So anyways, I bought those. So I went to put my thickers away, and um, there were, the, my. I think I've mentioned in another video at some point that my thicker box is pretty full. And so I was like, uh, okay, well, <laughs> I don't really have room for these, but I brought them into my room, so what am I going to do with them? So I went through my thickers box, which is something I like to do anyways, but I usually wait till I'm on summer holiday because it takes some time, and time is... Uh, precious commodity especially in June as we're you know gearing up for summer and we have um we have like grad coming up and we have yard work to get done and we have you know things life is happening around us so I was like okay well I'm just gonna do this now because I need to get these put away I can't have them just sitting out all the time um, indefinitely that will drive me crazy um, so I did I pulled out my uh, thickers box and I went through the whole thing and I 
dug out everything that I thought was like, um, how do I say it? Everything that I thought was kind of like um, used up enough, but it's still in there because you could use it like a little bit more. Do you know what I mean? Um, and so I pulled, I think about five, maybe six alphas out and set them on my desk. And I'll show you those in a minute here because we're just going to do the title. So this is my little stack of thickers. There's like one, two, three, four, five. Then there's this little bit that I had in there too. Um, it was just kind of loose, so I put it into a pocket. And then I had this set. This is the set I'm going to use today. And so I'm going to try and make some, um, use these for some titles for the next few um, weeks maybe. And whatever doesn't get used um, will get repurposed so or garbaged. So here is, I want my title to be Live in the Sweet Life. So I made a little tag here with, uh, I used the Big Chat, I think it's called, book from Tim Holtz. And is it called Big Chat? That's not it either. <laughs> Maybe I put it away. Oh, there it is. Um, yes, Big Chat from Tim Holtz. I used these little, um, what are they called? Wood bit, word bits from Jelly Bean Soup. And I punched a, a ticket out of the red paper. And then I used these little mini alphas that I had pulled from my thickers box. I don't know why they were in there, but I'm going to use them. Um, and I made the sweet life on here. And I, that from there, I am going to use this alpha to t make the word living. So I want the title to be Living the Sweet Life. So I have um, most of the letters for that, but I'm missing the eyes. So in order, instead of just putting it back and finding another thicker pack, I am going to make it work. So I'm going to take these, uh, what do you call them, exclamation points, and I'm going to turn them into eyes. So here we go. I am going to line, I'm lining up the ends so that I know what size the lowercase letters are. I'm going to cut across the two exclamation points. Then I'm going to put my N on here. There we go. I'm going to take that and I'm going to put the flat side down because I think that's the side we would look at the least when we're looking at our alpha or our title. And then I'm just going to take the dot from the exclamation point and use it to dot my eye. And then I have all the other letters to spell out living. So I think part of the reason this one has not been getting used is because it doesn't have a lot of vowels left. But I will use it up until I can't use it anymore and then I will decide what I'm going to do with it from there. Sometimes I like to repurpose my alphas into embellishments. Sometimes I like to um, MacGyver them into different letters so that I do have some alphas to use. Sometimes I like to type in all the letters I have and see if, uh, oh, what is that? See, I knew I wouldn't figure it out going backwards. Um, uh, Scrabble Word Finder. And see, I, I'll actually, I can show you a quick example of that because I did it with this one, although it's all kind of falling apart. And it says, so I got a whole bunch, pals and chunky monkey out of that. So I think that I'll be able to use those. 
And when I do that, when I type them into Scrabble Word Finder, if there's nothing in there, like if it comes up with words, but they're not words I'm actually going to use in scrapbooking, then I don't keep the, the alphas around. I find a new home for them. Sometimes that's the trash can. <laughs> And that's okay. And so on the back of here, I put, same as the back of my photo and the back of my journaling, I put those um, discarded chipboard bits as instead of foam adhesive to pop things up. And so now I have this little title that says Living the Sweet Life. And I find when I do this too, when I pull those things that I'm, I kind of tell myself I have to use these, I get so much more creative with my titles instead of just picking the letters off the sheet. So there is my layout. Oh, I have the date over here. It punched out of the same punch that this ticket punched out of, so I just put my date on it. Um, I don't know. Maybe here. Okay. And that is everything for today. Thank you for hanging out with me today. I hope you enjoyed today's video. And if you did, please click the like button and give me a thumbs up. If you'd like to know more about the things that we talked about, click that show more button under the video description to find the links to the things we were talking about. And if you are new here, I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel and be sure to hit that notification bell so that you will know every time a new video goes up. Have a great day, everyone.